Hello everyone and welcome to the Extreme Tech channel. So for today's video guys I'm gonna show you uh, difficult, uh, difficulties of uh, beauty of field welding, especially in the live units like this. So we got a two, 2G field weld, it's on a 10 inch uh, SCAD 40 pipe, uh, it's a carbon pipe. So this is the old existing piece on the bottom and we got a new on the top. Uh, as you can see uh, the valve is passing down the line and we're doing some modifications here to prevent all that and uh, steam is coming out. And we got water, uh, so that steam is uh, creating all that uh, water that is uh, condensing on that pipe. The pipe is still hot, uh, it's still cold, that's why we got water. And uh, there's a couple things we're gonna apply here to prevent all that while we're welding. And so the first thing, as you can see the, the unit is live, uh, the pipe is still shaking, vibrating from all that. And um, there's a two things I'm gonna show you here in this video. Uh, the first is I'm gonna use a Tiger Torch. I'm just gonna preheat uh, really good. Uh, it's gonna be really hot. That's the one thing to keep that uh, spool really hot. I'm gonna go 120 on the root pass and with the root pass, I'm gonna go with 1A rod, 1A uh, tungsten, cup size eight, and I'm gonna go really slow as I show you right here. I'm just gonna really slow up and down up and down and keeping all that uh, heat zone in front of me really hot and i hope that's gonna prevent that steam turn to liquid and it just uh, steam gonna stay in a steam form so it's uh just keeping that surface hot uh you're not gonna create any any liquid from that steam it's just gonna vapors vapors out okay so just uh just to keep in uh, nice and slow steps here, uh, stretching that puddle, keeping rod slightly close to the top side and just uh, pushing it down. It's nice and easy, just for the edge. I always like to start when it's a really good gap. I got, uh, as you, you could see, in the, uh, the gap was like almost half inch on the one side, on the front side of the pipe. And on the back side was like 532, which is ideal for me as long as I can wiggle that 1.8 rod. This is where I'm gonna start first, and uh, it's gonna this is like a root tax, and they're gonna be like a three inch in length, minimum. Always start where your good gap is, wherever your perfect gap is on a pipe, that's where you start, and then you go moving forward wherever you got tight or you got wide. It doesn't really matter. As long as you start on a good one, this is go what's gonna keep your uh, keep your gap uh, good at least on the one side. And now, starting on a on a wider side, wide gap. I'm just gonna shrink uh, that gap all over. Hope the pipe is gonna pull a little bit. Even if it's pulled for two couple mils, uh, that's still pretty good. That's not a big problem. Uh, if it's a gap too big, you can always lower down amps. Uh, see what works for you you know so as long as you can control that puddle that you control that puddle and uh, just uh, keep it slightly inside I like to have a nice good heavy root uh, especially on the 2g it's prone to sag down uh, thanks to gravity uh, you want to keep it like uh, pretty much in a in the same nice uniform uh, form Just try to keep it uh, constant connected to that puddle as I'm going slow, uh, just to preventing that uh, steam to turn to turns to liquid. Uh, this K, okay, this side is down. Steam is like pretty much, it's almost like uh, gone for a sec. It just comes and go as a valve is passing. Okay, this is a root. Uh, it's good, healthy root. Lots of meat, uh, and uh, so I can run a 160 for the hot pass. Uh, as this is a closure procedure, it's a closure weld, so the MT on the root gotta be done. So I like to run a grinder all the way around, just a uh, surface, and run a wire reel. Uh, just uh, if you notice any indications. Uh, on the back side, I'm going a uh, freehand, and as soon as I get to the, a little bit on the side, I'm just gonna walk the cup. As you got a back side, it's really tight, close to the wall. This is where I'm freehanding and This is where first I'm gonna put that section. I'm gonna just fill to flash on that side. And the rest I'm just gonna walk the cap. That's it. You can see I like to go uh, heavier on a hot pass. 
as uh, I'm not worried about the sack back as uh, got lots of meat on the root uh, there was no any difficulties welding it otherwise you will already see it on the puddle uh, which is good uh, the steam itself it doesn't affect uh, if that worries you if you got something like that come up down in a road some similar challenges uh, I hope you can apply something like this so it might help you so just preheat uh, and uh, go slow just to keep that uh, heat zone in front of you keep that um, surface hot and uh, so it doesn't turn to liquid so you don't have any any issues any porosities as i said this is the bottom one is the existing pipe i uh, got lots of dents uh, from uh, from dogs and all that uh, we were trying to fit up I'm gonna do touch-ups uh fix that pipe and that's it uh, the cap is like four passes and uh, that's it that should be good enough Okay, uh, thanks guys for watching, I uh, hope I help you, uh, and uh, see you in the next one, take care, bye.